have to realize for the first time in our life that this feeling, it's all lies. Everything you feel inadequate about, it's based in a lie. Someone made you feel something a certain way somewhere in your life and regardless of who did it, when they did it, how they did it, it's a lie. And it must be eliminated from your vision of yourself. Do you know that this vision of myself, of me being inadequate, goes even as far as this is the way I I portray, this is the way I think God thinks of me, then I am inadequate. I place that on God. That if God had anything he could say about me, it would be that I am inadequate. Because that's how I view myself. And it's pathetic to say that. It's pathetic. And it must end. It cannot continue this way. Because I know, in reality, what I I just said about God, it's a lie. Along with everything else, it's just another lie to add to the pile of shit that's affecting my life. And if it's affecting my life, or if you suffer from the same thing, it's affecting your life just the same. And let my words strengthen you to know that everything you believe badly about yourself, it's a lie. Put it into the filter of truth and, and make it so that you can come out on top of this once and for all. It's not good enough to just say, no, 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 it doesn't affect me. No, it's not good enough. You have to face all of it for what it is. Everything that has haunted us in our past affects our future in some way, shape, or form. And if you don't think that whoever created this feeling of inadequacy in your life, wherever it came from, if you don't think it affects your weight loss journey here and now, and all the other times in the past, you're only lying to yourself. Face this, let it go, or confront it. Whatever it has to be done, do it. If the person is dead, write a letter to the person and burn it. Do what needs to be done to finally be rid of this thing and move forward and grab the success you've always deserved. All of the things I've talked about before, when I say it's time to break the chains, this is where it comes from. It's the insecurities that have been given birth to because of the incidences in your life, because of the bullying, because of the uh, hurts and, and things that have happened to you, whether it's in high school, whether it's in your house household, whatever it was, the idea that it has become a chain holding you back to become the person you were always meant to become. When I say break the chains, that's what I'm talking about. It's these instances, it's these things, and it's all attached to an anchor. And the anchor is holding you back. So if you grasp one thing from this episode today, grasp that your weight is not the only problem. You're not here just to lose weight. And maybe you're not carrying the weight you carry just because you don't eat properly or you don't exercise. Maybe you carry the weight you carry because you're also, it's attached to, it's a medication for a past pain that you feel. You've been medicating some bad instances in your life and you're medicating them with food. You're managing your emotions and instead of dealing with the situation that's causing the emotions, you're medicating with food. And it's time to stop. You're better than that. The person that you're supposed to become, you'll never be able to become unless you start breaking chains, unless you face the hurts and the pains of your past. 
and really concentrate on making you yourself the person you were always meant to become. She's there. He's there. It's time for you to reach out and grab that person. Deal with the effects of your past. Deal with the pain. Deal with the hurt. It is more than just eating poorly and lack of exercise. That's why you're here. God, if, if there's one thing I need you to grasp from this episode is for once in your life, choose you. Because God knows there's plenty of diabetics listening to me right now that chose dessert way too many times They chose death more than they've chosen life. There's people with cholesterol problems. There's people with high blood pressure. There's people with blocked arteries that chose their deep fried foods, their salty foods, their fatty foods. They chose death way too many times. And how many more times can you do it? How many more times could you choose death before it's too late? How many more times does a doctor need to tell you you better make a change before you actually listen and do it? Our attachment to these things, it's all in the mind. All in the mind. We don't need any of it. We want it. We want it. We've told ourselves it's something we need. Some, t- some of you are substituting these things, these food items, for comfort, for, for happiness, for whatever is missing in your life. And for once in your life, just choose you. Just choose life. Just choose health. Be the person you were always meant to be. Stop choosing death. Death is the easy road. Choose life. Do the hard thing. Do what is easy and your life will be hard. Do what is hard and your life will be easy. Just make the choice. You have to do it. Nobody else can do it for you. Make the choice. Make your life right. Choose life. Stop choosing death. Your health is way more important than some stupid food item. Let it go. It's in your mind. Do the right thing. It's not... No no one ever said it would be easy. Just make the right choice. Choose you. I love each and every one of you. God bless you all. These things you call failures, they aren't failures at all. These things you call failures are lessons waiting to be learned so you can reach the next level. So tell me this, how much longer will you allow failure to be your stumbling block? How much longer will you allow failure to cause you to quit? How much longer will you do things the exact same way, expecting different results? When will you realize failure was just put there to teach you the lessons you need to learn to keep going? 
When will you realize embracing failure is the stairway to success? Everyone has a burden to carry that the rest of the world doesn't understand. But you, you've been carrying this burden long enough. Let go of the chains. Stop wearing them like a badge of honor. Lay them down so you can think clearly for the first time in a long time. Now, clear your mind. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in and let it go. And now, I want you to think of the one thing you need to work on the most. This is the one thing that will start the construction of your foundation. It is perfectly okay to build your castles in the sky as long as the foundations touch the ground. It is time to start right now, today, right this minute. Today is your day. No more putting it out. Today is the day that you start your new beginning your quest for greatness, your quest for true lasting success in everything you wish to do. And all you need to do is give it all you got, 110% and never quit, never give up. Just keep going, just keep pushing because there's only so far and you will have exactly what you want. I wonder is there anyone out there who has done or is currently doing any of the things I spoke about today have you stepped on the scale and had the thought hey maybe this is as good as it gets for me All the while knowing that there are at least three things that you can become more consistent doing? Have you told the world that you're plateauing only to go home, stare in the mirror at yourself and knowing the hard truth? Do you tell yourself you're working hard knowing you haven't had anywhere close to the amount of dedication you used to have toward this journey in months? You're not alone. But the wonderful thing is, you can still come back. You can get in touch with the reason why you started this journey in the first place. It's still here. Your why is still here, waiting for you to come back and reconnect. So, will you do it? Will you hit reset today and come back and do it the right way this time? And maybe approach things in a way that you never thought you would ever do in your life. Taking risks, knowing they may or may not pay off because you know it doesn't matter. You aren't going anywhere. You're doing this for the rest of your life. And what is a risk here and there if it goes in the wrong direction? In the broad scheme of things, what is a small failure when you look at it from a 40,000 foot view? It's nothing. Come back. Recommit to yourself. No 
one is more capable than you. In the broad scheme of things, one slip up is nothing. When you look at your entire journey as a whole, from beginning to end, take a 40,000 foot view of your entire journey, this slip up with whatever it is cannot be the catastrophe you think it is. How old are you right now? How many years do you think you have left? So let's say you're 40 and you think you're gonna live to be 90. You got 50 years left. What are you telling me is going to be the difference of you pigging out on some Easter candy or whatever have you? Are you kidding me right now? This whole idea of feeling guilty for eating something you wanted to eat beating yourself up for literally no reason. Look at the whole picture. Beginning to end. How many years do you have left? Make an estimation. Now, this slip up in compared to the whole journey. What, what, what is the, what is it? What is it compared to the other thing? In the broad scheme of it, what is this one slip up that you feel so guilty about in the broad scheme of things? It's just bullshit. It's a way for you to feel bad and beat yourself up and you don't even realize it, but every time you do this, you send yourself back to the beginning. But first, before you go back to the beginning, you spiral out of control and you do a whole bunch of other bad things first before you finally get your head on straight and get your head back in the game. So skip all that, skip the guilt, skip the shame, get back in the game because you know what? If you got 50 years left, today doesn't matter as much as you think it does. Get over yourself. Champions don't have excuses. They just get up, dust themselves off and keep moving forward. I know you're a champion. Do what needs to be done and forget this guilt and shame nonsense. Right now. Now is the time. It's the time to realize that there is so much more at play mentally than you ever imagined possible for a weight loss journey. It's not just eat right and exercise. And in fact, it never was. This journey was always more mental than physical. The real question was, when will you realize just how mental it actually is because you know what if your mind isn't right I don't care how little you eat I don't care how much you exercise you will not be successful in this system in any system any weight loss system whatsoever if your mind isn't right and forget weight loss for a second in anything you attempt to do if your mind is not right you will never be successful in whatever you do whether it's business whether it's personal what doesn't matter writing a broadway play if your mind isn't in it it's not going to work so get your mind right do what's required. How, how do I do it, Don? I'll tell you. You do it because you create the one thing I've been talking about for months now. You create consistency. Consistency in your tracking. Consistency in weighing and measuring. Consistency in food choices and exercise. Consistency in the entirety of your life and discipline to keep it going. Because you know what? 
at some point the scale is not going to move the way you want it to move. And you know what? You're going to be okay. You're going to be steadfast and strong. And do you know why? It's because you built consistency from the ground up. That's the way you do it. You don't just one day have consistency and you say, oh, today I'm going to have consistency. No, you build it like a house. You build the foundation. You build the walls. You put the roof on that bad boy. And you know what? When you put all the details and you have it all together, you have a house built stronger than any other house around you. Because you know what? If you could just grasp how important consistency is, and you realize how very few people ever grasp how important consistency is in a weight loss journey. Look around you. How many people can you actually see have grasped consistency, have held on to it, and based their entire journey on creating consistency? There are so few of us that actually get it. So few of us how, recognize how important consistency and discipline are. And until you realize that, you may never achieve the success you wish to achieve. So, maybe your focus shouldn't be towards making a resolution. Maybe for once in your life, your focus has to be about making life choices. Now, some of these life choices ahead of you, they might cause some pain. And I'm not talking about physical pain, but that's possible too. I'm talking about emotional pain. As I said it before, and I'll say it again, the majority of the reason you're having the problems that you're having to need to try to start a healthy lifestyle, they didn't come from eating or lack of exercise. They came because of something else that's buried deep down. Something that you have been holding on to your entire life. And you need to just let it go. Let it go and become the you that you have dreamt to become your entire life. Become the you that I can see in you, the you that you can see in you, or the you that you wish to be. It's possible. The you that you wish to be is possible. And the only reason it's not possible is because you don't believe it's possible. So stop it. Stop it. Believe in yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. You give nobody any reason to if you don't. Love yourself because if you don't, nobody else will. You give them no reason to. It has to start with you. Make the choice. Do what's required. Make the change that lasts for the rest of your life. Stop making resolutions. I think I have proven over the past three or four weeks that the mindset is a major player when it comes to a successful weight loss journey. Not only managing the emotions, but mastering when it is legitimate or when is it in our mind when things are going wrong. 
And if we have pain from the past, to finally confront it and say, hey, listen, I'm not really hungry here. I'm medicating X, Y, and Z from my past. And if that's what you're doing, you got to do the healthy thing to deal with those things from the past. Or maybe they're in the present. Maybe they don't have to be in the past. Maybe it's something that just recently happened to you and you're avoiding it and you're choosing food to medicate or distract you from that issue. Listen, it's never going to work. Food only fixes one problem, starvation. And if you're, you're listening to my show, you're not dealing with starvation. Let's face this. Let's be real here. We need to do what's required to finally defeat the demons of our past, the problems we have, because food is never going to fix them. Now, whether that's going to a doctor or going to a therapy of any kind, then do it. If you feel like that's the right thing, do it. I'm not a doctor. I'm not going to tell you either way. But what I'm telling you is figure out what it is. If it's from the past, go and dig deep and find out what event is causing all of this. If it's from the present, dig deeper and find out what event it is and know that every time you're hungry every time you're emotional and you're going for that food item that's medication that's not going to fix the problem that's making new problems that's all it's doing we have to fix what really caused this issue in the first place we can't distract ourselves from it anymore if you ever want true success in what it is you're trying to do you need to address what it is that caused you to be in this place in the first place. I can't tell you what that is. I could only point you in the right direction. I'm in a moment, a moment in time, in the future, where I can see what the day looks like when I step on the scale And the scale says the number that I want it to say. The number that gives me the goal weight that is my current, in my current sights. I visualize that on a regular basis. I dwell on it. I obsess over it. On that moment, I'm not obsessing over the number. I'm obsessing over the moment. I see myself successful. I see myself hitting goal. I see myself over and over and over again, victorious in everything I've attempted to do. And I'm telling you this, the key to success is create consistency in everything you do. And the weight will come off. Create consistency in the food that you eat. Create consistency in the exercise that you do. Create consistency in all aspects in your life. Be moved by nothing. Emotions are going to be all over the place, but your journey is steadfast and consistent in everything you do, and it cannot be moved. It's coming like a freight train toward one marker. In the future, that marker is the goal line that you've set for yourself, and all you see is that goal and visualize yourself crossing that goal, crossing that finish line and obsess over it day after day, year after year, obsess over that moment. What will it be like for you? What will it feel like? What will it taste like? What will it smell like? What will it feel like to be in that moment? and never let it go. Think about it constantly because that is the key to actually getting there. Never forget it. Hold on to it like it's the last thing keeping you alive. Do everything I said and you will find the success you've always dreamed to have in this system. Hello, I'm Donato Russo, and I am the Ranting Weight Watcher. I wrote an affirmation 
It's called The Rancher's Creed. I dedicate that affirmation to all of you who are watching. Nothing can stand in your way because you are an unstoppable force. Your challenges crumble in your presence because you are so strong. Your insecurities no longer have power over your life because you are so confident. Your mistakes are your choices and you are okay with this because you are so intelligent. The mirror and the scale no longer haunt you because you are so beautiful. You can face any circumstance with unwavering support because you are so loved. The demons of your past can no longer torment you because you love yourself. All things are possible as long as you believe because God is on your side. You will achieve all of your goals, not if, but when, because you have no boundaries. You are the champion of your story because you do whatever it takes to win. No one can take what you've done away from you because you are the author and the hero of your story. Arise, champion. The victory is yours. Because you are enough.